now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for June 21st. Today features tropical storm, uh, a new tropical storm that's formed in the uh, Pacific Ocean, which hasn't yet got an official designation, and tropical depression Claudette, which is still lingering around the Carolinas. Heading now towards the northeast. 34 storms have formed so far this year. Looking at the Atlantic right now, we've got two low chances of development, a 10% in the main development region towards the Caribbean islands, and a 30% which will initiate in the uh, uh, southern Caribbean and then move on into the eastern Pacific. Claudette there uh, shirking off towards the northeast, our third storm of the season. Day 37 in the eastern Pacific, along with that chance towards the east there from the Atlantic, a 10% chance further east out to sea. Um, a more broad system than the one on the right hand side uh, which could compete with it maybe or uh, move away and maybe both of them will form eventually. Um, a tropical storm has formed, a rather compact one approaching Guam right now in the western Pacific. This hasn't been recognized officially yet but it's looking very good on satellite imagery. Uh, a clear center of circulation and convection firing probably at least 40 miles per hour. In the Indian Ocean, nothing's active at this point, um, as you would probably expect for this time of year. So it's nice to see a blank screen, at least on one of our basins today. So this is what the Atlantic looks like right now, the satellite imagery, the infrared, you uh, can only make out the bare bones of Claudette. Um, you can also see uh, massive amounts of convection just off the Gulf Coast of the United States and a massive dry air pocket there in the uh, main development region of the Atlantic. We'll see if that shifts over time. Eastern Pacific, you can see general tropical blobbiness there in the eastern part of the Eastern Pacific, but nothing organized, not for a little while yet. Massive dry air influx out there over the uh, main part of the Eastern Pacific Ocean, extending up towards the southwestern United States. So the Western Pacific, you can quite clearly see that new system that's been developing in the last few hours uh, near the center part of your image, rather small, but headed directly towards Guam. So tropical storm conditions could be felt there and it could come as a surprise. In the next 24 hours, we could be seeing tropical storm conditions. And this is the Indian Ocean right now. You can see there um, not much going on. Uh, the southern hemisphere has a little bit of activity in terms of, you know, um, cloud tops blowing up there in the uh, southern Indian Ocean, but nothing really uh, of note. And this is a uh, much more to the uh, minute floater in the Western Pacific, showing the general region. Uh, you can see that new tropical cyclone and its relation to uh, Guam and the Northern Mariana Islands. Now let's take a look at another floater here. This is Claudette on the visible imagery. Um, we've got the overlay for the United States there, so along the east coast. Um, the system has been uh, certainly uh, maintaining its rotation fairly well. National Hurricane Center giving it 30 miles per hour, I believe, last time uh, we had a look. Um, and it will be moving off towards the northeast. They still think it will become a tropical storm and the relevant watches and warnings are in effect along the coast of uh, North Carolina in particular. We could be seeing tropical storm impacts as the storm regenerates, um, redevelops, I should say. Uh, and gain some of that intensity back. The uh, sea surface temperatures on the coast of Mexico, fairly warm, 30 degrees, and in a little pocket there. In the uh, Gulf of Mexico, the western part is much the warmer now, uh, pushing 30 degrees in one or two places. Um, and the western Caribbean and the uh, Gulf Stream, all very warm areas, um, prime for development now. Uh, as we head into the summer months and the peak of the hurricane season on the way in a couple of months. Um, and this is the Indian Ocean. You can see there 30 degrees in a few areas off the east coast of India and in the western Pacific it's um, pretty much as you'd expect. Uh, boiling hot for the most part, 30 degrees plus in the Philippine Sea for parts of the South China Sea and a little area off Taiwan there as well so that's something to watch for if a storm decides it's going to track up towards that area anytime soon and the 26 degree water is just about reaching the southern part of the main Japanese islands now as well. 
Sea surface temperature anomalies are showing that it's generally slightly above average in the Western Pacific. The East Pack generally below average, although some of the areas off Mexico are above. Gulf of Mexico is, is, is uh, split in two there, and the uh, Atlantic in general in the tropics is pretty uh, even in the subtropics warmer than usual. On June 21st, 2008, Typhoon Fengshan was peaking as a Category 3. Um, which isn't so unusual in the Western Pacific. What is unusual about it is that it was crossing the Philippines and was right in between all of the islands when it did reach its peak intensity before starting to weaken once again later on in the day and moving towards the northwest, uh, passing through mainly the Visayas region and then moving on towards uh, southern Luzon and the South China Sea, if memory serves me right. So, uh, in the Atlantic then, the next name on our hurricane list, the storm names, is Danny in the Eastern Pacific. Enrique is next up. In the Central Pacific, we're still waiting for Hone. In the Western Pacific, we could be seeing a name very soon. It will be Champy, um, and then we'll have Infa followed by uh, Sempaka. In the North Indian Ocean, Gulab is next up on the naming list. Hopefully we won't see that for a little while there. We've already had a pretty disastrous start to the season in the Indian Ocean and in the Australian region. The next name's Paddy in the Southwest Indian Ocean. Kanga, those names refresh in a couple of weeks. South Pacific, the next name is Cody. We'll have more updates on our uh, YouTube channel on Force 13. And of course, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.